Site Review Panel for the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline has issued a lengthy list of conditions. Meeting the conditions will be part of a successful application, but local opponents say it's not enough. It hasn't been given the green light, but if it does, Enbridge's Northern Gateway Pipeline has been issued a list of 199 conditions. A few will mean extra costs. There are a couple if they stay in the final decision. Uh, first of all, if the final decision is yes and these conditions stay as they're written, there would be some that would have some extra costs. Among the extensive list of conditions given by the Joint Review Panel is an environmental effects monitoring program, caribou habitat assessment and restoration, and leak detection reports. And we are, uh, I think, leaders, and we being the Enbridge, are very much leaders in leak detection and integrity management. The dollars that we spend on programs is well in excess of anybody else in uh, North America. So uh, again, this is something we take great pride in. The company's vice president for Western Access, Janet Holder, says most of the conditions did not come as a surprise. However, there were a few, including one that the company notified the National Energy Board if it applies to use temporary foreign workers. Right now, we have no intention. It was never our plan, and uh, so that would might have been one that we were a little surprised about because we haven't been talking about foreign workers. We've been talking about using uh, Canadian contractors where at all possible. While 199 conditions is a lengthy list, opponents aren't convinced it's a showstopper. Uh, we don't believe that these conditions really uh, address the root of the problem with this project. And the problem is that shipping bitumen across northern BC is a really dangerous proposition that threatens the very fabric of our communities and ecosystems. The Sea to Sands Conservation Alliance says there's one important element these conditions don't cover. Um, rules and regulations can't uh, don't address human error, which is often the root cause of spills and accidents like we've seen with Queen of the North, Exxon Valdez, uh, BP, Kalamazoo, all these spills, all these accidents. It's not because there weren't enough regulations, it's because people make mistakes. The list of 199 potential conditions are not set in stone. The Joint Review Panel will submit its report and decision in December. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.